And we are going to bring in Mr. Phaeton right now because uh, we want to talk about not only, look at that, sliding in right on cue. Not <laughs> only today what we're expecting for Friday, which I can take anything at this point, it's Friday, but sure. there are a lot of plans people have for the weekend. Yeah, we And have, the last one before school starts. Yeah. yeah, so you definitely want to get the kids out and about, maybe want to catch the Panthers game, preseason game tonight, which means those tickets are nice and affordable for a lot of folks. And then we have Charlotte FC, so football and football both this weekend. <laughs> I like it. I think we're going to be dry for those games, too, but we have some rain chances and a warm start to your Friday. So first having to get through the last day of the work week, temperatures in the low 70s, winds coming out of the west at five miles per hour, and that's again over uh, Independence Boulevard, where traffic is actually moving nice and smooth at a speed limit pace. Go, same goes for Sharon Amity Road. And again, we're comfortable to start with those clouds that start to lift up. We're going to start burning things off as the sunshine and sunrise is here about five minutes from now. So 71 degrees for Charlotte, 72 Lancaster, heading into Shira and Rockingham, 71 Wadesboro, 66 Salisbury and Albemarle. We're in the upper 50s for Boone and Jefferson, so still holding on to some nice, mild, and comfortable conditions in our mountain counties. I still think the 50s are perfect sleeping weather for the window open and maybe even bonfire weather. Seven, uh, 77 degrees for the late morning hours, and then we get into the low 80s by lunchtime. Some partly cloudy skies leading to the isolated showers and storms for the afternoon, and then you're looking at more of a seasonable feel as highs get into the upper 80s, and then mid 80s, a comfortable evening on tap for that Panthers game. So high of 88 for Charlotte, Concord, 89, Albemarle, Monroe into Wadesboro. I think we can get to near 90 degrees by Rock Hill with the upper 70s being felt in parts of our mountain counties. Today is near normal, but we really might want to turn up the AC heading into your weekend with 90s coming back as we get into your early next week. So through the weekend into Monday, holding on to those 90s, and that's going to make for some good poolside conditions. Just watch out for those storms that can bubble up in the later hours of the day. We're talking 3 o'clock and on into your evening. Overall, you're, you're taking a look at satellite and radar where those storms are tapering off along I-81. The I-40 corridor is dry for the most part with the showers tapering off east of I-95. We are going to be holding on to the bubble and the popping ups of those storms in our mountain counties. And I think that mainly stays west of I-77. And then into the evening, we're going to be tapering off and clearing out heading into your Saturday. Saturday brings another round of the showers and storms for the afternoon, so keep that in mind. Even further, we're going to be looking more in the way of the summer-like pattern taking hold for the second half of the weekend, so intermittent rain and storm chances last all the way into next week, with Wednesday bringing another round of some good storms. So 90s take hold throughout the weekend with overnight lows in the 70s. We'll stay in the 90s through Wednesday before a cold front brings us back into the 80s by Thursday of next week. Let's get a check on those roadways here at 647. Anne all right, thanks, Ted.